Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my normal videos. I've been wanting to do a book survey for a really long time and I just recently found one. So let's get started with these questions. I don't know what this is. Number one, your favorite childhood book, Harry Potter. Number two, what are you reading right now? Right now I am reading The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger for one of my English classes and The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Watson. Wasserman. Wasserman. What books do you have on request at the library? Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger and Under the Never Sky. Bad book habit. I have this terrible habit of taking books with me everywhere. Like I'll have my book and I'll be reading it and then I'll have to go somewhere so I'll just like carry it with me and like stick it under my arm and just like hold on to it. I'll be like sitting at the dinner table and I'll just be like, oh yeah, I have this book. So I just like put it on the ground and I just, it's nice having a book with me but I just, I bring it everywhere. What do you currently have checked out at the library? The Story of Us by Deb Coletti. Scorpio Races by Maggie Steva. The List by Siobhan Dowd. Do you have an e-reader? I do not have an e-reader. I've thought about it several times, but I just like having a real... I like having a library of books. I really do. Do you prefer to read one book at a time or several at once? One at a time. Have your reading habits changed since starting a blog? Since I started Tree Reads, I am much more um, aware of what I'm reading. I, I think about it more and I, um, I reflect on it more and I um, spend more time thinking about and trying to remember what happened in the book I read and not just reading it and forgetting it right away because I want to obviously talk about it. Least favorite book you've read so far this year? Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Favorite book you've read this year so far? The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. How often do you read out of your comfort zone? I've had to read out of my comfort zone several times this year for school. But other than that, I pretty much stick to what I like reading. What is your reading comfort zone? For the most part, I like to read YA um, and a lot of dystopian. Can you read on the bus? I used to be able to, yes. But I don't ride the bus anymore, so I have no idea. Favorite place to read? My bed, which is right here. You can't see it, but I'm sitting on it right now. It's great. What is your policy on book lending? I'm okay with lending books to people as long as they give me them back in a timely manner and they don't, like, ruin them, I guess. Do you ever dog your books? No, I do not. Do you ever write in the margins of your books? No. Not even with textbooks? No. What is your favorite language to read in? English. What makes you love a book? Usually just the characters, um, an interesting plot interesting backstory um also like writing style that's i like when people have a really nice writing style i like that. what will inspire you to recommend a book i guess just if i really really like a book favorite genre typically ya and again dystopian genre you rarely read but wish you did i kind of wish i read more fantasy favorite biography i don't read biographies, I guess. Have you ever read a self-help book? No. A cookbook? No. Most inspirational book you've read this year so far? Again, I'm gonna have to go with The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because it is just fantastic and if you haven't read this, you should because it's just, this is, it's amazing. Favorite reading snack? I drink a lot of tea and hot chocolate while I'm reading. I don't know if that counts as a snack, but it, it does for me. Name a case in which hype has ruined your reading experience. Okay, I know one. I read The Hunger Games when they first came out. Like, I read The Hunger Games when it first came out, and then I had to wait for Catching Fire, and then I had to read, wait for Mockingjay. And so the movie came along, and I thought, oh, I should just read the book again so I can you know, have it in my head before I go to the movie and then I can kind of like, you know, remember it so it's not a big surprise for me. And I tried reading it again and I just, I just couldn't get into it because I just, I had heard so many bad things about it and, you know, there was just all this negative response to it. I mean, there was positive response, but things stuck out to me and I just, I, I couldn't finish reading. So I don't know if I'll be able to read Hunger Games again, like reread it. 
unless I like step away and don't hear anything about the movies or anything again, but that really bugs me. How often do you agree with critics about a book? I don't usually read critical reviews, so I have no idea. How do you feel about giving bad or negative reviews? I guess I'm pretty good about choosing which books I think I'll like. So I, I mean, unless I really, really didn't like something, I'm pretty happy with the books I read. If you could read in a foreign language, what language would you choose? I think it would be really awesome to read the Grimm's fairy tales in their original German. Most intimidating book you've ever read? Probably Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which I had to read for my literature class earlier this week. Most intimidating book you're too nervous to begin? A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Favorite poet? I don't have one. How many books do you usually have checked out of the library at any given time? When I go to the library a lot, um, I often just like grab a book that looks good and I don't like know anything about and so like I have all these books checked out right now and so I just have a bunch of books that I might read and I might not read so you know it depends I can have one I can have five how often do you return books to the library unread a lot favorite fictional character I guess Hermione Granger from Harry Potter just because growing up and reading the Harry Potter series and Hermione was just she was like my role model. Um, also, I'm gonna say Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. Favorite fictional villain, Voldemort. Books you're most likely to bring on vacation. Anything on my to-read list. The longest you've gone without reading. I can't, I can't remember a time. Name a book that you could not or would not finish in cart by Cornelia Funk. What distracts you easily while you're reading? Um, my attention span. Favorite film adaptation of a novel. Don't kill me for saying this. But I loved The Hunger Games, and I thought it was really true to the book, and I absolutely adored it. Also, the first two Harry Potters. Most disappointing film adaptation? Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Also, um, Aragon. The most money I've ever spent in a bookstore at one time. I have no idea, but I can go in there and spend a lot. How often do you skim a book before reading it? Never. I don't... Never. Usually I just read... I look at the front and I look at the back and like the in, inner flap on the book and I look at all the reviews on the back or just see what's on the back and I go from there. What would cause you to stop reading a book halfway through? Another thing that is kind of a weakness I have is I don't stop reading books once I start them and even if they're really bad and even if I don't like them, I feel like once I start a book I am obligated to finish it. Do you like to keep your books organized? Yes, all of my books are alphabetized by author. Do you prefer to keep books or give them away once you've read them? I keep them. Are there any books you've been avoiding? I don't think so. Name a book that made you angry. Oh, of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I had to read that for my freshman year English class and I thought it was painful and agonizing and I did not enjoy any any moment of it. A book you didn't expect to like but did. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I absolutely loved that book. I had to read it this year for my one of my literature classes and it, it's fantastic. I went into it thinking, oh boy, here's another thick classic book about whatever. It is one of the best books I have read in school. A book you expected to like but did the Lux by Anna Godberson. Godberson. It's in a series, and I picked this up, I think, last summer, and I thought, oh, it'll just be a nice, easy, summer, fun read, and then I can get into the series, and it'll be great. And I just, I couldn't get into it, and I really, I really didn't like it. Favorite guilt-free pleasure reading? I don't have any. I just like reading, and I like having new experiences, and reading is going to do that. Go for it. So guys, that is the end of this survey. Um, I will put a link to the original survey down below, and I will, as always, put a list of all the books that I mentioned in this video down in the down bar. Alright, so until next time, see you guys later!